Oh, we going over on my name is Mary Blaze and today it is time to Spongle, whatever that means. But this is a Incredibox mod made by, again, the talented Artemi Kopich. I I hope I said that name right, man. But this is Spongle. Now, Spongle is a psychedelic ambient kind of mod based off of a band known as Divine Moments of Truth also known as DMT. This is going to be an interesting experience for sure, and I will, as always, leave a link to Aratami's channel down below, as well as the video for where you can get the mod. Oh, without further ado, this is Spongle. Look at that. Are you ready to get Spongled? Yes, we are. I hope you are, at least anyway. Okay, let's go. Nice splash screen again. Incredibox, DMT. So Divine Moments of Truth has been inspired by, again, it was developed by PFB, Artemi, uh, a bunch of talented people, Elijah Wirty, Max and B and Bugo. So before I get into the main kind of screen here, I want to let you guys know that we're right around the corner. We're like 20 subscribers away at the time of recording this video to 10,000 subscribers. Absolutely insane. So if you want to be a part of that, and if you want to be a part of the q and I will also link the Q&A down below in the comments so that you can ask your questions there. Or you could just leave your question just down here in the comment section. That is also fine. I look at every single comment that gets posted. Without further ado, let's get right in. Let's get right in. So, I can already tell by the icons that they're pretty funny looking. There's like a brain one, I think. That's a brain. Uh, but we also get a bonus, funnily enough. We actually get a bonus here as well. So what I'll do is, uh, again, if you're new, I will cover the beats first, then the effects, the melodies, and the voices. We'll do the bonus, and then after the bonus, we will, as always, do a mix, and then talk about the whole mod and review it. So, let's start with the beat. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's just get right in and dig into this uh, mess. Sadly, I'm not high. I haven't done any anything. I don't plan to be. But there's probably going to be a trip either way. Straight away, the first polo looks like a mess. A polygon mess. It kind of looks like a crystal of some sort. The mouth... I love the color scheme though, the blue and the pinkish purple. Colors complement each other, good stuff as always. Nothing much to say about that one, the sounds good. Again, something tells me each polo is gonna be very unique when it comes to the design. Like, this guy has a, a top hat with horns and very weird clothing scheme going on with pinks, oranges, blacks, blues, <laughs> even. So yeah, first, I like that second beat more, obviously, because it had a bit more of a thump to it compared to the first one. The first one's just like hi-hats or closed, closed hats, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, let's go into beat three. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this polo for the thumbnail. Just look at the w cool effect on the eyes and then the mushroom. Makes sense. It makes sense. Like, come on, if you can't put two and two together here, there's something wrong with you. Stoned is what it is. So B4. <laughs> cool polo again the theme is all over the place because again this is psychedelic this is meant to be trippy and it's meant to be disorientating to look at 
and to listen to probably. Final beat, let's give it a, a whirl. Looks like a mask, a golden mask with a fat nose. Let's get right into it. Do you know what this polo reminds me of? Do you know that song that goes oh, 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 oh. Oh, Yeah. V like, the very start, you have like a drum section that goes very similarly to this. Like, goes Like, the guitar on top of it goes like that, and then you get oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, so the beats, the beats, good, very good, in fact, um, as to be expected. Uh, Polar Designs, very good as well, again, as expected, because just judging from that team alone, they have Perth from Prom Brazil, they have Artemi, they have Ilja, they have all these people working on it that I know have cooked before in the past. So this is going to be a trip. So the beats were very good. I'll give it a nine. The only thing that could be different is I don't know. I can't I can't put a finger on it because I don't know a whole lot about psychedelic um as a genre. I don't know. I don't listen to a lot of psychedelic music. But I mean uh, that some of the beats could go harder. Still, I'm I guess beat 2 went the hardest and beat 5 went the hardest, I think. Yeah, boom chicken butter is pretty niche, but again, it could just be a psychedelic thing. So let's go right into effects, man. I'm not I'm, again. I'm not. I hate to waste time. I hate to waste your time. Let's get right into effects, bro. Very cool sounding bass, actually. It sounds kind of sci-fi-ish, which I enjoy. It's not just a flat boom, boom. Sometimes I enjoy that, though, depending on the genre again. But I feel like this might fit in with psychedelic again, I'm not sure. The design is also very goofy with the brain just jumping around a, a container of some sort, like a tub. I don't know. Again, if you're watching this and you're high, you're probably just going through an episode right now. I'm just gonna say it right now. This guy is the craziest hairstyle in all of Incredibox. Look at that. Is that hair or is that grass? You tell me. You tell me. Elsa, what are those green splodges? I hope that's not Shrek juice or Matrix juice for that matter. Artemi, was that you making this sound? Be honest. Be honest. It's <laughs> a very sound, funny sounding polo. I cannot believe it. <laughs> Yo! That's a... Very loud burp and a very long one as well. Also, wh what is that design? He's bald and he's got like a third eye. The beard is crazy. The I just don't know what to say. I love the. Tell you what, I did love about that sound though the panning. So what it basically was doing is it feels like it's circling around you. So you just imagine some guy just like, if say I'm sitting here, some guy's just like running around me doing that. Like, 
burping as loud as he can for as long as he can. Tell you what, that's a cool polo design. Although it's only, it's only just doing that one thumb for an entire two loops. It could, it could work. I don't know. Again, I don't know how I'm going to mix any of this today. We're just here to have fun, honestly. So now that we've done the beats and the FX, my rating stays the same. It's a bit of a nine. It's just very quirky and probably just made for fun, honestly. So let's just move on to melodies. I really don't want to give this mod too many ratings necessarily. So melody one looks like a flower. Let's get right into it. Tell you what, though, that sounds nice. It's again like a, a xylophone. Do, 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 do. I like the sound of that. I didn't know that sound was psychedelic, actually. I guess it is. I learn something new about genres every day because I never really pay attention to like when I listen to music, I'm like, Oh, this is a this genre or this is this genre. I just kind of listen to the music. If I like it, I like it, to be honest. Let's go into the second melody. It sounds like a Mexican guy. He looks like a Mexican guy with that beard transitioning into his hair, by the way. There's probably references made within this mod to the actual DMT, the guys that are in DMT. But that sounds good. I enjoyed that. Do you know what's funny? I would put that melody into a hip hop mod. With like... Imagine if the crime had that polo. That would be kind of funny. Someone needs to do that. I want to see that. It's a jellyfish polo with massive tits. Like... Makonkalonkaluki nips <laughs> jokes aside cool polo amazing sound let's get into melody 4 it almost sounds like he's saying drunken sewer but can we also talk about the animation of his pupils and how smooth it looks because if i paused it you can see that um whenever the actual ball moves instead of them moving a ball it's so see it stretches that's what we call um emphasis emphasis in animation and it makes things look smoother like it's there done like this on purpose so that the animation looks smoother animators take notes because whoever did that is a genius and has real talent. Melody 5, let's go. This looks like, um, is it called a chakram? A chakram? Because it's like a, a thing with like blades going all around it. Never mind, it's just the sun. It's interesting because that technically sounds like a voice. You'd put that in a voice category because it it's a choir. But 
it does sound pretty melodical because it's changing notes. So I don't, I don't know. You know what? I don't care anymore. <laughs> if someone puts their voice in melodies or something like that, I don't think I'm going to be too judgmental about it like I used to be. So the melodies, I love them. I love them all to bits. They're all unique. They're all something different. Uh, they each have a different tone to them, which is very cool. Because that means I can be able to change the mood very quickly. Uh, and I have nothing else to say. <laughs> so let's get right into the voices. <laughs> what is this? Baldy's basics looking as mother sucker. That is the first time I've ever seen someone use like a poorly rendered 3D um polo. <laughs> is the bonus gonna be like that? I think I saw the bonus being like that as well. And oh god, I cannot wait to see that. I actually love the sound of this polo. It sounds so dark and epic. <laughs> but it's just so weird how every single polo gives off a different vibe. It's tripping me the hell out. I guess this is what psychedelics are really about. Also, is it transparent? It bloody is, look. Wait, have these boxes always been transparent, or am I tripping? I swear they were never tr this transparent. Cool. <laughs> I like that. I feel my consciousness rising from my body, floating around the skies. Feeling like a feather, traveling in every dimension. Wow. You feel your consciousness, consciousness rising, but I think your consciousness is falling, <laughs> if anything. Jesus Christ, what a trippy sounding polo. If anyone's on the Zaza, I feel sorry for you. Well, well, I hope you had fun playing this if you were on the Zaza. That's a cool sounding polo, but again, I'm like super not used. I'm like super not used to seeing female polos in Incredibox for some reason, because like you have these guys with the long schnoz, and then you have her with just a regular nose, regular jawline, regular lip size. It's tripping me out, but for some reason, for some reason, she looks like she could actually be in the game with that design. I don't know why that is. I think it's the the line weight and the care they've put to make it look as similar to an original polo as possible. Final polo before we get into the bonus. I don't know what the hell this is gonna be. <laughs> It's kind of... It's kind of like ad-libs. I want to say, again, I think that looked like a totem of some sort. So it's got some sort of tribal vibes here and there with some of these polos. But overall, it's a very interesting set of sounds. And I don't know how I'm going to use them, honestly. I don't know how I'm going to use them. But now I kind of want to see how they sound together and then do the bonus. So let's do that, shall we? 
Drag him in first. Drag boom, boom, boom. And then bang. Let's hear how they sound. Three, two, one, let's go. I will see food DMT. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the bonus. Let's go. I just <laughs> I was right I was right that the style was in 3D oh my god that's the first ever bonus that's been done in like 3D as well I swear to god and that was just funny that was genuinely just funny because it just took me by surprise the way they just flew up to the moon at the end with all the fireworks the heart shapes and stuff Boy, what the hell am I gonna cook here? I guess it doesn't really matter how how I cook with this. Because in the end, it's Spongle. And we're Spongling hard today for some reason. Yeah, if you got this far, again, please sub. Uh, shows your support like crazy. Man, we're, we're so close to 10k, man. That final stretch and beyond. And then I'm doing a Q&A video, so if you want to be a part of that, again, ask your question down below in the comments. Almost 90% of you are not subscribed, which is absolutely insane. So if you're loving the videos, please hit that button for me. It would, again, it would show you, it means the world to me if you do that. I don't want to waste any more time. And I want to get cooking, I would say, but in this case, I'm going to say I'm going to get spongling. All right. See you after the spongling session.
Spongling right there. I hope I spongled so hard that you guys will spongle along with me when I was spongling that spingle. Maybe that's what the next mod will be. It will be called spingle. You know what? I'm waffling <laughs> so hard. I had honestly a lot of fun with this mix. I had a lot of fun with this mix. I think I used every single polo. I think I did. I think I did that. I used the sun guy. Yeah, yeah, I think I used everything. I used everything and everyone and had a lot of fun. So I, in the end, I know I said I didn't want to give a rating, but I'll, again, I'll just give it a 9.5. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I just, I'm not a big fan of psychedelics in general. I wouldn't listen to it like on an everyday basis. I don't think most of you would it's a pretty niche genre of music but again just a very enjoyable and fun and creative mod to play so again i'll leave the description to this in the description if you want to check this out go support artemi and the gang as well because they will deserve it they worked very hard on this i know for a fact they did because artemi was really busy with this mod and life in general so it obviously took him a lot longer to have it come out. So that I think that's it from me. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? If you did, leave a comment down below. Again, ask a question if you would like to be a part of the Q&A. Just any question will do. It could be a personal question. It could be a, a whatever question. Because I will try to answer all of them if I can in that video. For the 10k so again if you enjoy smash the like button comment down below subscribe if you are new and i will see all of you amazing people in the next video because we'll be doing vibing so i'll see you guys there peace out Hello.